Hey guys, it's Woods and Survival. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the UST Strike Force, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Woods and Survival. So like I said, we're going to be doing a review of the UST Strike Force. So, when you open this up, it's just sitting like this. And so it's got some cord on it. And right in here, it's got a little, I think these are the instructions. I haven't opened this thing up yet. Yeah, it's a fire building guide. So it just kind of tells you how to build a fire, wh where to build a fire, what kindling and fuel is, gather tinder, stuff like that. And it looks like it's just like a eight step process, or whatever, but I don't need that. Okay, so this is just wrapped up with some cord. I'm probably going to take this off. So, I have the smaller version of this, which is the Spark Force, I believe. This one's the Strike Force. And it just fits together like that. <clears throat> it's pretty tight to take off. And it's just got this cord right here. I'm just going to take this off right now. And it says it is... So, just some specs about it. This stuff is from Amazon, and the specs are going to be from Amazon. Now, I paid $12 for this at Walmart. So, that's a pretty, pretty fair price. The, uh, the smaller one is around $9. So, that's a pretty big ride. So, the other one is a quite, quite smaller. It says, high-performance flint base bar. Striker built into detached cap attached with a lanyard hole, which is These holes right here Now on the package it does say in right here. It says includes uh, Includes light me tinder two-pack and fire building guide. I already sh showed you the fire building guide It's just got some instructions in the back and stuff now that, I believe, is their, uh, fire starters, and this cap just comes undone, or it comes out. Okay, now I see why I have that cord on there. Hold on. Okay, there we go, sorry. Okay, so when you pull that cap off, it's got a little bit of storage in the handle. It's actually got a lot of storage in the handle. And that flint rod, the flint rod just comes through there. That hole right there is just like right there. So these are the little fire stars that they come with. I'll try these. And it says it lasts over a thousand strikes. It says it generates three times the heat of ordinary matches. No, I don't know why they're comparing it to matches. Because it's a flint, like a flint and steel rod. So, I don't know why they did that. But, storage and one piece of the wet fire starters. And it will ignite in a wide drain of tinders. I'll probably do a separate review of this these tinders. I'll like, it says they're, uh, like, waterproof, I think. I'm guessing that. So, I'm going to take and scrape the coating off this and we'll light some stuff up okay guys so I just took and scraped the coating off and I opened up one of these things and I've been trying to start it but I can't get it and there you go for that that took me about 10 strikes to do so Those are the fire starters that it comes with. I'm also going to try some uh, gyro lint. And my favorite fire starter is uh, cotton balls with uh, petroleum jelly. Just let that burn for a second while I'm getting my stuff ready.
Okay. I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I will set it there so you can still see it, but okay, so here's the steel wool. I mean sorry, not steel wool, dry lint. That went up in about, I think, three strikes. So that's why I really like that stuff. Now I recommend every time before you put these away, always clean your rod. It's probably all wet. Oh, no. And I will try one other kind of fire starter. Just move this out of the way. Uh, hold on. Okay, so this is that natural fire starter. This is off a of cedar tree. I'll put the link in the description. I have a video on this stuff. So, obviously, this one's still burning, but dry lint would work just fine to get your fire going. Now, I don't know if this will work. It's been a little wet lately, so. Well, that went, that went up pretty easy. Now, this, of course, is burning the longest because it's like a man-made one. But I'm giving this thing a thumbs up. And you'll probably see this in some of my other videos. But I believe that is it. I want to check all the specs and make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, it's also made in the USA. And like I said, I paid $12 for this at Walmart. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And uh, it helped me out if you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy my channel and stuff like that. And have a great day.